This will be the back brakes continued on the DP35 brake assembly. This will be the rotor and hub that's been installed and uh, of course this is the bolt cap and you can see where it's protruded out right here. That means that it, uh, I put enough grease in the hub and in the cap and then beat it on with a piece of wood and uh, everything's all still good and when this cap sticks out here like this you know that you did a good job. You know that everything's working right. So here's the hub and rotor assembly for the brakes. It's got new caliber, new brake pads. They're supposed to be organic brake pads. There's your bleeder valve, and there's your brake line that was hooked up. Back here in the back, you can see the bolts in the back that were installed. And the anchoring plate on the back back there, those are the two bolts there that are the ones that are really, really hard to get to. And you need a breaker bar to get those off. So those are the ones there that you got. You can see the assembly and how it's supposed to look in the back when everything's all seated up and buttoned up really well. There it is. This is your DP35 brake caliper and brake pad assembly that I got from uh, Trailer Superstores where I got all this stuff from. And I'll put down in the link down below of all the part numbers and everything that I used so that everybody can do this. Uh, the only one I saw on here was a B, uh, BP42. And uh, the guy that did that did a really, really good job. Uh, the Asian bass guy, he did a really good job. So I thought I'd make one on the DB35. This is a, an 08 Marine Master bass boat trailer. So this is the way it looks here on the rear set of brakes in the rear back. This is a dual axle trailer. And obviously you can see Coming back here to the front, that's the hub that, uh, a standalone hub that just runs, it don't have brakes on it. These are the Goodyear Endurance tires that I got, the USA made, these were $108 a piece. I uh, ended up getting a $70 rebate coupon from Goodyear and uh, free installation and uh, upgraded valve stems as you can see. I got on there with the chrome uh, stainless steel uh, valve stem cap. So everything's ready to roll. And just so everybody knows too that I don't have all the weight sitting on these leaf springs and axles like everybody might think. So I just wanted to make a note of that, that there is the weight is on the frame of the trailer. You can see that I've got the weight back here on the frame of the trailer. I've only got these blocks on there. Just enough weight on the leaf springs just so that I can work on these hubs and break all the bolts and nuts and stuff like that loose. So there really is no weight on what you see here with the blocks and the wood on the leaf springs. So just to let some of you know that all the weight is on the frame. So you can see here that I've got most all the weight like that. So this is just a, a conclusion of that video from the other ones. Uh, sorry again, I apologize for all the editing and all the splicing together, but y'all can still get the, uh, get the same understanding of how to do this thing and it'll show you all the seals and uh, all your gaskets and the RTVs that's used on it everything I had to do to completely rebuild this whole trailer and get it back up in shape okay good luck to you and uh, catch you later